A couple of days ago, I started to watch the TV series Shogun, and uh, this one got like 18 Emmy Awards or something. It's uh, tremendously popular uh, TV programs uh, this past year, and uh, Hiroiki Sanada was uh, playing this Tronaga, the Shogun character, and. Um, I, uh, when I watched it, uh, the first thing I kind of uh, remembered is uh, probably about 1970s, I think. Uh, the Shogun uh, came out as a book and uh, also uh, it made to the TV movie um, featuring Richard Chamberlain. And I remember seeing that and uh, I don't remember when that was. Uh, but uh, I remember I enjoyed it and uh, uh, so uh, this is like a um, almost like a yeah, second making of the particular Shogun story the Shogun is the, uh, the as a book uh, I think it's about uh, this guy uh, English guy British guy who came from uh, uh, like a Portuguese ship to kind of uh, you know drifted to the uh, island of a remote place uh, of Kyushu um, you know uh, shipwrecked and everything and uh, but he survived and the Japanese you know those uh, people uh, treated him in the beginning very very badly because this is like a savage coming from from uh, outside and uh, you know at that time in Japan it's very very closed society and uh, even though there is a missionaries and uh, some trades um, uh, happening at the time but uh, you know not so many contact with uh, Westerners uh, but anyway so it's about him uh, slowly adjusting the life in Japan and observing this Shogun character uh, taking over Japan uh, rule Japan and uh, so you know this one also made uh, Broadway a musical um, you know, 1980s maybe, I would say, uh, in the 80s, 1990s even. And I saw it uh, on Broadway. Uh, Philip Kasanov, who, uh, who was a Broadway actor, uh, who did the uh, a chess uh, uh, beforehand, and, but he came back and played a particular uh, Blackthorn character. And uh, I remember him, uh, seeing him uh, on Broadway stage. And, uh, but you know, I don't necessarily remember all uh, details about that particular musical. But uh, uh, this particular film, uh, the first thing I noticed is the tremendously expensive production. <laughs> because of the all these uh, sets, uh, costumes, so so uh, abundant, so rich, so beautiful uh, to look at, and uh, you know, yeah, wow, it cost a lot, lots of money, and uh, to make this film, and uh, so I just finished like a uh, two episodes, and. Uh, uh, yeah, it is kind of entertaining. It was very nice, and I have to watch the rest of it to see, you know, how I feel about it. But uh, first of all, I really uh, was impressed by the uh, those uh, production uh, details of the costume, for example. Uh, very beautiful, you know. If you are interested in uh, Japanese kimono 
culture and how they wear those kimono, uh, layers of kimono, and uh, you know, with armors. Uh, men wear the beautiful, beautiful costumes there. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, women wear the beautiful, uh, very refined designs, kimono. And so that itself is like worth watching this particular film. And, uh, but also the cinematography is wonderful. And uh, uh, I think it's uh, uh, probably used, I think a Canadian location. I think they shot in Canada somewhere near Vancouver. Uh, but uh, uh, sets are, are very very nice and also uh, you know, of course CGI uh, was used to the tremendously uh, realistic the uh, Osaka as a, a city of the particular 1600 uh, Japan and so that was very very impressive and uh, overall you know coming from Japan uh, I thought that Japan doesn't have a that huge big scale uh, vista for example uh, you know, pretty much like a very uh, localized uh, scenery uh, if you go to uh, Japan you notice like, mountains and everywhere and uh, there is no much wide open place there and so but in this particular film it's like a a yeah, big, big, wide open uh, uh, place, you know, like Canada, for example. And so that's I notice, and uh, but uh, that doesn't detract uh, of the particular enjoyment of the the, the movie. And uh, the other thing is I really, really liked is um, Toshiki Sanada's portraits of this particular Tronaga, Lord Tronaga. Yeah. He's uh, uh, the portrayal of this subdued character uh, very, very nicely. And uh, I think that's that his style in this particular Shogun, it shows that, uh, you know, his acting is not like a, uh, uh, you know, tremendous, um, uh, uh, face expressions or, or tremendous uh, body movements or anything like that. Very subtle, very subtle, but uh, showing a very nice uh, human being uh, mind, I would say. And uh, that shows in this particular shogun. Uh, he plays a very uh, interesting to watch his face and uh, his uh, 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 you know, characters, uh, you know, that you can kind of uh, immediately fall in love with this character because of his uh, uh, portrayal of this uh, more depth, uh, you know, in, in, in his mind and uh, uh, more uh, substance in that. Uh, Lord Tronaga. Lord Tronaga become a shogun, uh, you know, later. Uh, but uh, this is before that uh, he uh, became shogun. Uh, so this black song, uh, immediate, uh, not immediately, but uh, slowly getting to know him, and I would say uh, he uh, uh, trying to. Uh, you know, the, uh, support Lord Tronaga, uh, and the Tronaga like him as well, and uh, so uh, I really like to know how this particular um, movie is going to end up, and uh, so yeah, it is kind of uh, enjoyable, uh, and uh, uh, you know I would. Uh, uh, let you know that after I finished uh, this particular movie. 
I'm glad this I can see it in you know, Disney Plus, and uh, you can see it entire thing. Uh, but each episode is like uh, long, you know, one and a half hours or something like that. It's very long thing, and uh, uh, so it has a like a ten episode or something uh, first season, I would say. And so it's not that uh, casual watching. You know, I have to spend uh, um, time uh, watching it a little bit, make an effort. Yeah. Okay. Bye.